Yeah, so what's going on, people? This is Good Fast and to the point slash the page Hoodie Down Tats. I am your host, Hoodie Down slash instructor. And today on this lesson, we'll be going over as far as how would you apply stencil to fake skin, which I would believe a lot of people want to learn that, will want to utilize that, especially for upcoming tattoo artists as far as myself. Now, so, let's get into this. So, just off, you know, off the jump, off the gate, let's just find out exactly what is fake skin, which is made out of silicone, rubber, plastic, and basically, some of the cases it can be with lubricant. I prefer just to get the plain, easy, simple one. You know what I'm saying? And fake skin is, you know, basically, you know, tattooing without blood, you know, bruising and mistakes, Majority of fake skin is about five inches thickness. So, you know, it's not exactly, you know, a human. I mean, you could be able to get like a hand. You could be able to get like an arm. They do have those type of things, you know, Amazon, etc. cetera, different um, channels where you could be able to um, purchase that, you know. But now, basically, we're just going to get on to now how will we just be able to utilize this in different cases where, hey, I want to do a tattoo, I never really tried this different style, maybe a Japanese style, maybe, you know, all type of different things that you may just not want to just jump on to someone. You may just want to practice over that. So I done learned that knowledge and now I want to pass it on to you guys. So right here, as you can see on my transfer paper, I have things that I had drew here, Laura Lee, I had drew it different places. Then I got like a heartbeat with the, with, um, the temperature on, on, on side of it. And I got New York here. These are just different um, drawings I was doing for different clients that I have. So I was before I was actually going to apply to the fake skin, I wanted to talk to you guys and just go over it because I had just already gained this knowledge and I felt the same way that, oh, I could just pass this on to the next person and maybe it'll make it more easier for them. So, okay. As you see here, this has three different layers, right? Right. So you got the rainbow layer. Then you got the transparent layer. Then you got the ink layer. Then you got the guard construction paper layer. Now, I think they all kind of speak for themselves as far as what exactly they do, drawing layer to draw, transparent, you, that's what you'll be able to um, visualize through, which actually will go through on the ink paper, which the construction paper will hold it flat, and then after that, that right there will create your drawing, right? Right. Again, I don't go too far into details. This is good, fast, and to the point. Now, as you see here, this is fake skin right here. I purchased this for about $10 on Amazon. Not too pricey. You know, I believe that, you know, everyone should be able to purchase this. If, I mean, if you're becoming an upcoming artist, you should already know you got to spend money to make money. That's just how the game is when it comes to the tattooing game, so... If you're not wanting to spend money, I don't think you should be able to join this or not. You should be able to just go out there and try to find an apprentice job and hopefully you can get a job there. But if you're trying to just start off on a jump on your own, just know you will have to spend. And it's not really much, but it's just a lot of tedious things that you will need to buy as far as helping you. Even no matter how good of a drawer you are, you will just need different things just to be able to help you guide you know, the walk to walk within this tattoo game. Right? All right. So now, right? So what we're going to do is, we're going to take a scissor, right? Normal scissor. I mean, this is not my scissor that I actually use when I'm doing tattooing. But, or when I go to a client's house, because I do do travel. Um, I travel to people's um, places in your comfort to do a tattoo. But I have my own section for that. I have, this is for that, and this is for my workstation. So my workstation is with you guys. Now, so let's take this off here, right? Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut through this, right? And we're gonna cut through whichever section is the section that we're gonna use as far as applying to the fake skin. All right. So I'll do for now, cause I actually need to practice on this little part here. And these right here, I could just, you know, they to throw away. I am gonna use them though, just as far as practice. So I guess, hmm, I guess I'll just do these right here. We'll do this to this. We'll do this. How about that? 
Mm. Mm, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll go with that. <laughs> I was afraid I might do. I want to do one that's that big or, you know. <laughs> or we can just do the New York one. Matter of fact, I'll go with the New York one. It's by itself. This one is all cramped up with everything else. It's just standing out, right? <laughs> Let's just go with that one. Let's go with that one. The New York one. All right, guys. Just give me one second. Let me cut through this. Please don't mind the sound in the back. I do have dogs. I have a Shih Tzu and a Poodle. Those are my babies. I had to do this video like over three times over because they kept barking and doing weird sounds. Okay. We got this part. Let me finish cutting it now. Okay. Now, we got this. So, we're going to take this off, right? Put this to the side, right? And now, as you see, right? Now, this is what I drew here. I did not write this here. I drew this part out, which you can be able to put something under this and it's transparent so then it can apply to here. And then that's where they traced it out on this. So, these pa this paper here transfers on this right here, so... Right, this is actually the stencil paper which you which you will be using to put the ink on the fake skin. Okay, now for me, what I usually do, you know, I have a um hand board, and I usually every time I do that, I have the actual image of what I'm going to be tattooing up here. The reason why is just it can be any little mistake where. Part of your stencil may wipe off or anything, just a little bit, just an inch. And you just want to be as precise as possible. Because, you know, when you're doing fake skin, you want to tattoo as you're actually doing on a person. So you want to act like that's the person right then and there. You know, practice makes perfect, guys. All right? All right. So we're just going to keep this right here. And that should be good, right? Right. Okay. Then for this piece of paper here, we can just throw it away. You don't really have to keep it. No need for that. You can just throw that away. Okay. Okay. So, let's get this bad boy open. Right? See, nice and clean. So, now, you know, usually when you apply stencils, to an individual, there's different steps that you will actually go to before you just actually apply to this. This is fake, so you we don't actually have to go through that, so I won't go through that with you guys. However, I will be making another video on as far as how would you be applying, quiet mamas, how would you be applying stencil to your canvas? That'll be a whole nother video, and you guys can just keep track of, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and just keep track of, how, cause I'm, I'm just, again, this is good, fast, and easy. So I'm going to be, I mean, excuse me, good, fast, to the point. <laughs> good, fast, to the point. Good, fast, to the point. So I'm going to literally be breaking down every little piece of molecule on as far as going through the step-to-step -step of becoming a tattoo artist. Y'all guys are basically following my journey. So now, again, we don't need to do nothing. Everything else for Canvas, I'll explain that later. What will we do now? Right now, we are going to get something called stencil stuff. So stuff, stencil stuff is basically like, I would say, like glue. It's not glue, but it is glue in a sense. It basically was going to stick this layer here, right, to this. So let me go grab that really fast. One second, guys. Okay. Now, there's a lot of people that use speed stick. Now, I would say speed stick, if you want, you can use speed stick for this type of work here because, you know, this is not pricey, but and a lot, it actually comes with a lot because when you actually apply to stuff, you don't really need to use that much stencil stuff. You don't really need to use that much. Basically, this is just going to be just the layer for it, and you don't want it to be soaked because the more that you be soaked, it will bleed out as far as as far as the ink, it'll bleed out and won't stand stand that strong. So you don't really want to use that much. So if you do got a speed stick, then you guys can you know be able to apply that onto here. But for me, I use my stencil stuff, and I actually have more in the back. So 
I just use this just to play just to play around with. But I have my own that I take home. So let's get to it, right? I'm going to actually be using my finger. However, if you're doing a canvas, which is a human, do not use a finger. Have gloves on. You want to make you know you want to make sure that everything is health first. You don't know what they got. They don't know what you got. You don't want to share stuff. It's just a job. All right, All right. So apply a little bit here. All right, All right. Applying, and you start applying. Start rubbing it in. Right. So as you're doing this, you want to make sure that it's not too wet. You want to make sure that you want to make sure that it's not too wet. You want to make sure that it's just basically enough, just a layer, just a layer. You don't want to have too much access out because then it will actually spread it out too much. You just want it to be able to stick, right? So you want to have enough just to really just touch it up. That's it. Just to basically lay down. That's it. All you want it to do is to lay down. That's all you want is to lay down. That's all you want. Okay. Let me see. I probably would apply just one more. You know, just one more. That's it. And literally a drop of your finger. A drop of your finger. So once you have some stencil stuff, you really don't need to buy that much. You really can make this work a lot. And if you get go with it, you really will learn how to mess with it. And you can save a lot of money. You don't need to buy. It's not one of those things where you have to buy back to back. It's not like needles or anything else in that nature. Right? Okay. So you know, make sure it's flat. You know, again, I'm using my finger, but in this case, you'll use tissue. Again, but we just, you know, going over it. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, I don't think so. But it's just a flat layer. Literally just a flat layer. Let me see. Oh, I think. Yeah, there it goes. Like, you see how that is? Just a flat layer. That's all you want. You don't want it to be jumping off. Right? Right. So, now we're going to apply this here. Right? And let's go over this and let's see how this plays out. And as you're doing this, if you do it the wrong way the first time, you can always try again. Just don't throw this piece of paper out right here. See this? This is here. And you can just utilize it again. But let's try the first time. Let's see how this work with me. One, two, three. Luck be on my side. Right? All right. Right? There you go. So you want to just, you know, push down a little bit. You don't want to spread it out. You want to push down. And while you're doing this, right, if you see any parts that you feel like is not highlighting, like you see how you can read it right now, you want to make sure that you can be able to read it. If you can't read it, that's a problem because if you can't read it, you can't see it. You understand that? If you can't read it, you cannot see it. Right? So you just want to apply maybe like three seconds. One, two, three. Right? But you don't want to spread it because if you spread it, it'll go over. Again, this is... Not like it's just grabbing it. You know what I'm saying? It's not doing that. And let's try it out. And let's see how I played out. Let's see. Let's see what I did. Let's see. Not bad. All right. If you guys can see here, you can read it, right? Good, right? Maybe the O could have been a little sharper. And basically, then that just basically means you could your um your layer of your stencil could have been more balanced. That's all that really means. Or it could have been when you was drawing it out. You didn't push down hard enough. Again, this is not with um, a transfer machine. Yes, there is transfer machine, so you don't have to go through a hassle of drawing, which I recommend drawing with you in the beginning because you want to keep building up your artistic ways, you know? And, you know, the transfer machine is more, you know, it's more like a one-two thing for you, you know? It's like basically a GPS to walk into Brooklyn, you know what I mean? Instead of trying to figure things out, how would I take the train here or walk there? You can just transfer machine. And I'll do another video on that. Or as far as I do have a transfer machine, and I will do another video on that. So now, with this, this is does not just dry. It's do, right now, this is not dry right now. This takes time, and when it comes to when it comes to this right here, this is not like example. Right now, if I t let's see if I touch the side, right? This it. Look, if you see that, see that little whap right there. Now, that will happen easily when it comes to fake skin because. Fake skin is not like real skin. It's not. It doesn't absorb. You understand? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't absorb anything. So when you apply fake skin, all all it does is base. It's just sitting there. It because again, this is just rubber. So when you applying this, it just basically 
it's just permanent. It's like as far as staining. It's like staining. That's the word for it. It's just going to stain it. So you have to leave this on longer than you would leave it on a real individual. Even though I recommend if you're going to do on a real individual, you want to leave it on the same amount of time. Especially if it's a little big one. Like something like this. Unless it's like, like a heart. Like the size of my, my pinky maybe. But if not, you want to leave it on that long. You don't want to take it off. You not want to go go through that hassle of having to freestyle while you're you know drawing in your canvas. That's an unprofessional, and it doesn't matter how long you've been drawing. You don't want to go on the top of your head because this is something that's not coming off no one, unless you're gonna pay someone about five thousand dollars to get laser surgery. So you don't want to do that. Now, so this is it right here. I just basically wanted to show you guys how to be able to apply it on it. And I will be doing another video as far as tattooing it. How would you be able to uh, take off the access ink from your ink gun while you're actually doing it? And I'll go over that stuff. So again, guys, I appreciate you guys' time here. This is good, fast, and to the point of how you'll be able to apply a stencil to fake skin. Take it easy, guys. Keep track and subscribe so you can be able to check it out. If you liked it, press a like. If you disliked it, put a dislike, put a comment. I love all criticism, or maybe you can show me your way of how you done it in an easier way or, pr or pronounced it in any other t articulate way. Thank you, guys. Till next time.